I take the cap, I wipe it off. If it's just regular pink, clear, whatever, I take a lint free, I roll it to a point, and I put it away. And I can literally put it in my container, right? I can put it in here, I, uh, I can put it in a drawer. Now, if let's say we're doing glitter or something like that, right? And mm -hmm. I have gel on here, um, a tile works really great. This one basket, the basket, the lotion, and puts it in the basket, the basket, lotion, the lotion, the basket, the basket, the lotion, and puts it in the basket, it puts it on the skin. He always loses it at the end. Like he has was, to ruin it somehow. I don't understand why we just can't get like a solid no, five, four, three, two, one countdown. Five, four, like. No, 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 it was literally like this. Like just so you guys know, the countdown went like this. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm like, what, what, it, right? That's what you did, bro. That's what you did. It was like all over the place. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good effort. Good effort. Good effort, buddy. He'll never win on this one. Um, good morning, everybody. Netter with Nails, original Alexa, Abstokes 22. No, I have to boot him first, then I can sink. The I'm not sure what that is, but boot him. Boot him. Boot him. Get him out. Uh, Michael Minotti. Uh, oh, Lori. You got to change the name, Lori. And this what? is really Lori uh, Kramer texting with you, not Michael Minotti. Just, I know, but all I see is Michael Minotti and... Um, your alias. You, 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 <laughs> you going undercover? AKA. <laughs> uh, want to give a shout out um, to did we did we give a shout out to Kimberly Byer mm -hmm. yesterday? No. 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 Thank you, Kimberly Byer, subbing for one month tier one. Thank you, mom of two boys, twenty one, subbing with Prime one minute ago, and also uh, Cecil Tilners. Close enough. Close enough. Thank you, Trace. Tracy now knows how hard it is to say the names. I admit I can't say. I can't <laughs> it's read. Hard. I can't write. I know. Google will ask me, like, I don't even know, man. What I know. You're trying to spell. Like, we give up. I'm I'm totally with you on that. It says, go back to school. That's what it says. <laughs> it comes up. No, no, no. But that doesn't even matter. Sometimes it's just hard to read um, all the all the action, you know, because they have, people will put, you know, They'll get creative with their names, and it's hard to read them. But thank you guys for the subscriptions. We like very much appreciate that. license plates when you're sitting behind them and you can't figure dude, out what they mean. Dude, I'm awful at that. My, my wife is really, really good. She, she always she always nails them. Uh, Serena the Pink, Tracy's hair. Tracy, your compliments are coming. Tracy's hair, guys. Tracy, you look fantastic. Love your hair. Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, I always, whenever that happens, I'm like, damn it. Should I have noticed? I I'm terror. I'm bad. Even like a brother though. I know. Like, oh, I know. She's but, breathing. It's but annoying. Still, <laughs> no, the breathing annoying thing is like your significant other, right? Yeah, You're yeah, right. It really is. Greg, Greg and I right now are, are in that mode of, uh, not with each other, but with another, other family, uh, other family and, um, like breathing, get out of our face really kind of a stop thing. That habit. Tracy is so bay. I love that. That's hilarious. I like watching on my TV, except I lose track of chat. Yeah, that's the only thing. Um, I, I do that too, actually. I watch streamers on uh, on my TV. But um, you know what's funny is when I watch uh, uh, stream, you so I'll like pull the chat in. You can still pull the chat in and out, um, but you need a keyboard, I guess, to, to keep up with it. So what's this segment about? <laughs> Trina uh, ax off, ax oof, I okay. think it is. Trina, Trina by oof. Trina by oof. I think that's what it is. I think I got it. Trina times oof? I think by. I think the times is by. I think. Um, I'm, I'm learning the, you know, the whole stuff mm -hmm. with, with, mm -hmm. with names. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, I, I would love to do some um, uh, mixing, perhaps. Maybe some color stuff. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. But... We're going to talk nails. That's for damn sure. I got those. I don't think you didn't get to see them up close, right? No, I didn't. I definitely want to see them in uh, live in person. Nice Dragonfly person. Blessing 7. Good morning. I just turned 40 today. Happy birthday, wow. Dragonfly Blessings. I'm so excited to be so the young. first time on live with you guys. I'm going to be going to school to be a nail tech in the spring. Oh, my God. Yay, I'm so excited awesome. to be starting a career that I'm going to love. I'm planning on creating my first press on nail set today. Congratulations to you. How exciting! Um, turning forty today. To Seriously, yeah. right? And a no, just yeah, a just a career. That's all. But but something small. Doing something that 
I'm telling you, man, not enough people do that, doing something they actually love. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I, I can speak even for myself. I didn't get into this business out of like, oh my God, I love the nail business. Can't wait to be in business. <laughs> I didn't and eat crap. Oh my God. I totally did. Neither did Greg. Neither, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like my, my mom, mom did. All you in. She totally <laughs> did. She totally did. Um, but I luckily I did fall in love with business. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I like puzzles. And so business is the ultimate puzzle in, in building. So that so part I, like I did fall in love with. I puzzles. I'm going to start a nail company. I love, I didn't start the nail company. Oh, I jumped true. in to help the nail company. Um, <laughs> you were the life, what are the, the, the life, uh, what's the ring? The what? The floaty, the life floaty. Oh, oh yeah. You were, that's what you were. The, uh, the, the, what's it called? The lifesaver jacket? Yeah. <laughs> Or so off. I don't know. No, the float, like the ring that you throw and hit someone in the head with. Like. I know, but that lifeguards carry, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, actually, now they carry just a big, like, buoy. block. Yeah, big buoy. There, there you go. You're you the know, buoy. You, you know, it's funny. I had a guy, I, I, I went and trained uh, uh, on Monday, and um, one of the guys asked me, he's like, so do you like, you love nails or like, how does that work? Like, and that's cool. If you do, it was really funny him asking, you know, oh, like, I like it. yeah, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's like, I'm just, he's like, it's just not, you know, it's unusual, right? Like it, it it's just unusual. Like that's mostly a career uh, on an, and uh, where it's, it's, it's majority women. Correct. And I said, yes, it is. And I said, bro, you don't understand the passion I have laying down that color and he's just he, he, he looked didn't. i did and then i said I, I, i'm just kidding man <laughs> Girl, it's like making love to exactly no and he um it's not the life jacket g i'm talking about the ring yeah the ring it's the ring the donut thing um <laughs> life preservers there you go yeah, that works thing, yeah and uh no but but i i said to him i'm like i'm like no, no bro like i didn't i didn't get into the business because I love passion. nails. It's not, it's, it's, it's not my, well, the business part is, awesome. is my passion. And, and obviously I enjoy the nail community. Like this community is, it's like one of the best communities. So I do love the nail industry. I do love the nail business, but the, the biggest part is like, you know, it could be any business, right? Like I just love that process of like building something. Figuring I kind of felt figuring it out. Yeah. Growing it and Figuring it out again. And again and growing it. Growing it. <laughs> it. On and on we go. Um, Calic, hey, question. How are we staying motivated to stay consistent in perfecting our craft? This is a great question. I started in December and all the while, what's that? September. That's what, did I say that? December. I said December? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did I really? Yeah, you said December. Did, seriously. Seriously. 100%. We're not joking. You said December. I was going to step in, but I was like, eh. Holy See, crap. I can't let things go. Dude, no, but but that's so bizarre because in my brain, I saw, September. I saw September and I said September. Oh my yeah. God, I almost did it again. Yeah. <gasps> to be fair, they do sound, they have a lot of E's. They sound pretty similar. Don't but it's, it's, it's weird. My brain is like, gzz, gzz, like malfunctioning. Mm. Uh, and all the while I've been super focused, but as of lately, I kind of fell off with practicing. I concluded that the practice hand doesn't give what it's supposed to give. So I have one designated practice person who pretty much lets me practice whenever I want. I don't know if it's just life taking a toll on me, but I need help staying motivated. Okay. <clears throat> well, Trace, why don't you start off here? What with nails, what can she do? Obviously the practice part is it's it sounds like it's Essential. getting monotonous. Yeah, yeah. Getting monotonous. And <clears throat> so first of all, anything in life I find uh, that I do where I'm, hyper focused on it right um i'm gonna do this i'm going to nail school and i'm gonna drive an hour and a half there and an hour and a half back each day plus have a kid that i have to take to school and do all this stuff and i get through it and it's great like i'm super happy about it and then that's when everything hits me and i kind of lose that motivation um getting through black friday and yeah. doing all this stuff <laughs> with young nails and, and and super super focused for last couple months like got through it it's wonderful and that's when when everything slows down it hits me. So this is common, I find, that once you get through it, that's when the, you lose motivation, um, maybe even a little depression, whatever it is. Yeah. However, you have to stay focused, just like you're saying, and, and you're going to have to force it a little bit at this point. You got to find something a little more, uh, maybe 
uh, that excites you. So maybe you've been practicing one thing over and over and over again. Let's add something else into the mix. That practice hand, I know you're saying it's not giving you what you need. Yes, it is. Um, is it more important to practice on yourself and on a person? Yeah, it, it is better. But is it better than not practicing at all? No. That practice hand, I, I know what you're saying, but it is still helping. I use the practice hand to practice um, if I have nobody. Uh, so what you're going to have to do is you're just going to have to make yourself maybe a motivational list mm. uh, of, and, and when I mean motivational list is literally this is my schedule and I'm going to stick to it even though I'm miserable doing it yeah. like, in this second. Let's find, uh, let's find some <clears throat> new education. Um, that gets you a little excited about what you're doing. Let's take a class. Things like that, I yeah. find, help. Yeah, no, no, I agree. And I, I would just ask, you know, one question. Like, I mean, the, the first thing is, like, is this what you really want to do, right? Yeah. Like, at the core of it, um, you, you you need to be honest with yourself. And so if if it isn't, then maybe you, you gotta you got to start looking at, potentially another career. If it is, <clears throat> and you're like, no, 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 no. I, I love this and I want to do this. Well, then like all the things that Tracy said, yeah, 100%, right? And then you got to find what works for you. And the forcing thing is real. You know, I, I think people have this misconception of like, oh, once I find what I love, what I'm going to do with my life, I'm always going to be motivated to do it, yeah. right? Because I love it. Yeah. And that is just not true. It makes it, it, it makes it easier, at least for me to deal with the painful parts of, you know, doing something that, that you enjoy. It makes the painful parts a little more tolerable, right? Yeah. Uh, versus if you absolutely don't like what you do, you just can't tolerate it and you're going to, you're, it's just not going to work. Um, but the forcing part is necessary. That's where, you know, like, you, you got to find that discipline and say, even though I don't want to do this, like, 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 uh, uh, Trace was describing, you have to just do it. And, uh, you, you show up, you get the practice hand, you, you put in that hour or two. And then afterwards, it's like such an accomplishment. Cause you're like, I didn't want to do it, but I did it anyway. That's what really feels good. Yeah. So <clears throat> it helps to get in habits. Yeah, absolutely. Habits and scheduling and, and having a routine, all of that absolutely helps. But the, no matter what, if, if you're doing something like if, if you love nails, you know, like all of this community loves nails and, you know, we we enjoy like Tracy loves di nails different than I do. Right. I, I love more of the business part. And, and I mean, Tracy does, too. But her mm -hmm. expertise starts to really get into you know, the, the, like, like Greg, you know, like these, this type of detail, which <clears throat> my God, which I don't have. Um, but in the end I still have to like, there's days where I have to force it. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't tell anybody, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't tell anybody about it. Maybe my therapist, I'll, I'll talk to her about it, but there are lots of times where it's extremely, extremely difficult and very challenging and there's like 80 things, issues and problems going on at the same time and just got to get through it. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's no option. So, um, I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Yeah. And another thing I would say <clears throat> is give yourself permission to have one of those days of feeling down about it or whatever. Cause sometimes when we go into something that we really want to be like, uh, you feel like you can't talk to family or your spouse or something yeah, about, yeah, like, that's true. I'm having a bad day. Well, this is what you wanted. <laughs> right, dude. Totally. This is what you wanted. <laughs> it's well, the that, worst. I'm not looking for an answer. I'm just telling you I'm having a bad day. Yeah. Give just, yourself permission to have a bad day. Yeah. And I, Tracy, that is so true. Like yeah. <laughs> when, when you're kind of down and in, in, in the shits, mm -hmm. right? Hopefully not having the shits, but just in the shits. Sometimes right? it goes hand in hand. Sometimes they go together. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you do both. And back to Kaka. And back to Kaka, we we we're here. Okay. And let's just mention puke while we're at it. Yeah. There you go. So all everything's covered now. But um the it it, it seems that like 
the place that it makes it really difficult to go to a lot of time are our family, yeah. right? Because they 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 want the best for you, and so they're going to be like, "This is what you want to do," and you're like, "Yo, I just want you to just listen." To acknowledge that I am having a bad day, and yeah. Maybe give me some cheering up or a little advice. Yes. Or take me for drinks or take, whatever. It is. Just hang out with be me there. right now. Just be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you got that person, you know, again. I, I, I see a <laughs> I see a therapist because I I don't like to dump my problems or issues maybe on like friends and family. You know what I mean? And um I just don't. And, that, and they're biased. So they it's, are. It's good to get a impartial. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Just where is work wife? Work wife is in the other I, room, but I, I have wife. I have work wife's baby. <laughs> <laughs> um um, anyway, I, I hope that helps. Uh, resubbing with Prime, we've got V Brittingham. Thank you for the two months. Appreciate you huge. Thank you so much for subbing. Very, very much appreciate it. Um, I saw someone ask, I don't know if it was up, down, low, Greg's laughing, um, <laughs> about if your light should have the double zero all oh, the time. Oh, right, 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 right. Light. Yeah, that was on there. It, it should until you push one of the buttons, the timer buttons, and then it should go to that time. So uh, just sitting there, yes, it'll have the triple zeros, but then it should it should go. It should clear up? Yeah. I've got like hair or something stuck in my lipstick and it's driving crazy. <laughs> I was driving my car yesterday and I just got back from training and there was like a, in my ear, like not in my ear, but I didn't pull a hair out of my ear. Well, Although you're getting older, so I'm that's getting older, but like this hair from like the, I was like, what the hell is this man? But, um, they're, you know, just training on, on the, on the mats. And there was a, uh, I was like, oh, because mm -hmm. the, we had a girl that trained on the mats. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, how long have you guys been doing nails? Trace, how long have you been doing nails? <clears throat> 97. How long is that? Uh, 10, 20, 20, Five years? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> really? Ninety-seven. Twenty-four years. Or, yeah, twenty-four years. Twenty-four 20, years. Oh, we're twenty twenty-two. Right. Two thousand seventeen would be twenty years. It's twenty twenty-two. This is sad. It's twenty-five years. Thank you very much. Okay. okay just, I just <laughs> want to put it on record that two people were. You know, calculator over here and Mr. I no, you I, I, I know you do. I know you do. I know you do. But Jorge needs to learn, Tracy. <laughs> I don't even know if you're wrong. I just trust your math. <laughs> I could have said 87 years. You're I like, did. yeah, oh, cool. Yeah, good, yeah. good. I've been doing that. <laughs> I just ordered the edible while it was on sale. Wait, what? What edible? What edibles are we getting? Oh, the e file. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what business are we in now? You're like, Habib, you didn't tell me. I'm going to cut out of that. Oh, uh, that's hysterical. Uh, Elise, that is so funny. Oh, my God. That's that's hysterical. Gabby W., hey, guys, can you give me an example or make a video on a full breakdown of all the products cost you? Okay, yeah, I can I can help you with this. I, I overthink everything. Um, we actually did an episode on this. Switch okay? I think it's okay. Um, so we, we Wait, did. 25 years. 20 <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Greg. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so we, I, I don't know if we can find if, if anybody's on the stream from young nails that can find Tracy and I did a breakdown video cost of cost per service. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that one is good, but the way you do it, you can't, you can't try to figure out like in one service, I use this much liquid and this much, you can't do that. It's about it, a buck 50. It's right about there. a buck 50. <laughs> Um, that's not, it's not, you're going to drive yourself crazy. It's, it's virtually impossible to do it like that. You have to do it on a bulk level. So what I mean is over the course of a month, okay, you have to look at how much do I spend on nail products on a monthly basis? Okay. So it doesn't matter if you bought liquid powder, whatever it is. And ideally you then want to take like over the course of uh, like let's let's take a three month chunk is kind of the because in that three months let's assume you're gonna buy everything you need to do nails you're gonna buy nail art stuff you're gonna buy gels acrylics top coats that was three thousand dollars in three months for me three thousand right because you spend a grand a month right mm -hmm. okay so you take three thousand dollars over the course of three months and what you do is you have to go back and see how many services did I do in three months 
So let's let's just let's just run the math real quick, Trace. Uh, for you, um, you did how many services per week? So you did like fifteen services in a day, and you did three days a week. So like forty five fifty. Is that right? Well. I probably when I was spending the the thousand it was probably more like sixty clients a week. Okay, six clients a week. So over twelve weeks. So sixty times twelve. So that's seven hundred and twenty clients in a three month span. So you take three thousand dollars that you've spent on nail products and you divide it by seven hundred and twenty services that Tracy had, and it's four dollars and sixteen cents per service. That is the most effective way. Four dollars. Now, that's just your cost of product that does not include Booth, rent, towels, towels supplies, yeah, gas, gas, anything. Okay. So a lot of people, why <laughs> we supplied wine at our slot. That's actually, that's, that's, I I've seen salons that do that. It's great. So um, wine. Best absolutely. Deal Best deal ever, man. Um, so like a lot of nail techs would be like, Oh my God, it only cost me $4 and 16 cents. Why dude, that's crazy. I charge fifty dollars. I want to give my, my my if I charge thirty, I'm still making no 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 no. You're not taking into account booth rent, babysitting, babysitting, all these other expenses. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I personally wouldn't include babysitting. Well, well let me explain. No, you're right. You're right. You, you're you, right. you need to take personal expenses aside. You should still include that. Like what Tracy's saying is, um, you take your business expenses and then you pull. You, how much you're making, right? So, okay, after all my expenses, let's say per service, I'm making $30 per service, but then there's, okay. I, I take home this much money. I'm and paying then I have, $25 an hour for babysitting. Right. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, making, I'm not making, making money. I'm not making money. Yeah. So, so still what Tracy's saying is right. You still got to break down your personal expenses and like your rent and at home, mm -hmm. how much money you need to make. But I hope, um, I hope that that helps, but Watch that video. There it is. Calculating your cost per service. Thank you so much. It's right there. Check that out. We really break it down, but that that's how um that's that's really how you do it. Babysitting was a big thing for me because when the people no showed, oh I was dude, still paying money. And oh, that really, that's awful. Really, really bothered me. Yeah, no, no, for <laughs> it sure. It cost you, me money to be there. Of course, of course. You you have to take in your and it's just a good exercise to do. Even if you don't have babysitting, you need to calculate what are your personal expenses. Like, am I overspending? Am I like Okay, I got food, rent, and all this stuff. Um, I need to make, I need to bring home like 5K a month to be comfortable, maybe go on a couple vacations, babysitting, yeah. plus movies, dinner, you know. Starbucks every day. Starbucks every day, whatever, <laughs> whatever it, is. it is. And I want to put away 500 bucks a month to invest, you know, or a grand a month to invest, which I, I personally feel like you should do. So you got to look at all those things again, which is why being a nail technician being a, is being a business person. You, 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 you got to do these things, you know? So, um, there you have it. Tracy, your hair is extra stunning today Thank from you. Danny J. Martin. This is, um, you're going to be disappointed. What? This is called braids and put it half up. <laughs> I put it half up. It's left in braids and this is what we get. <laughs> Oh my God. Shawnee Starfire, got to go. I'm at my daughter's school. I'll try to come back on. I, Shawnee Starfire, I love you. You're always, you're always here, wherever you're doing and um, no your, problem. Tell the kids to wait. Tell the kids to wait. Kids exactly. To wait. Go play outside. <laughs> uh, okay. So about $5 for cost of product for those of us who are not yet licensed. I wasn't sure how to figure out my product mm. cost. So um if I'm not sure what that, what difference does that make? Like if you're, well, if you let's say you're international and you're, you're not licensed, right? You still need to figure out, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand, like, like you're, it doesn't matter. you you need to figure out what your cost per service is. That's how you do it. That's how you break it down. So you just take the formula and just apply it to your situation. Yeah. Right. And this is also why, like, um, we charge more for length, shape, right. things like that, right. because it's going to take more product. I mean, this is an average, but you know, if you're charging 50 bucks for an, uh, uh, an active length and 50 bucks for a stiletto, you, 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 it's it's different. You gotta, yeah. This is a hard one you for do. most no techs. Yeah, it and it's it's a. I'll, I'll be honest with you, Tracy. It's a hard one for just business owners yeah. in, in general. You know, like a lot of business owners don't. They don't calculate all the costs. They don't. They like don't. How much did it take to put that kit together? That's how exactly much, right. Yeah. Did yes. it take for shipping? Correct. Much, yeah. 
Uh, oh my gosh, has anyone used the citrus sugar cuticle oil together with the cakes and pies? Ooh, it smells heavenly. Nice. Thank you for that. We were just funny. We were just talking about uh, the lotions. Greg said his daughter um, uh, put some, she put some on and she was like smelling in the car. She's like, Ooh, it smells so good. I love the young nails lotion, which I thought was awesome. Resubscribe. Ooh, Ooh Jenny, Jenny Mac. Mac. What like up? I don't know why I like that. Jenny Mac. Jenny Mac is good. Resubbing for one month at tier one. You thank you for three months now. Thank you so much, Jenny Mac. Jenny nails it. Gifting, uh, a one month sub Shoot. to Rudoso nail tech. Thank you. Jenny nails it. And Miss Net subbing one month at tier one. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate okay. it. Oh, we got six bits from Danny J. Martin. Thank you, Thank you. for the biddies. Really, really appreciate it um, so much. Thank you guys. Uh, Gabby W., you're welcome. <laughs> I just see thank you so much. So I say, you're welcome. Thanks. Uh, thanks. Can you scroll down, Jorge? want to see oh plus taxes yeah you got to calculate that. that's a big one that is a huge that's a big one. one thank that you tax. for that forget yep taxes it's taxes it comes every year it comes, it comes every year yep. you know it's coming that's a huge one and you need to set aside money for taxes especially being a business owner um, now it's different it doesn't come out in your paycheck right like it used to the taxes would just be paid and then maybe you might get money back right if after you calculate taxes like oh the government took too much Aww. i get a refund i like that refund the refunds are nice if you get refunds mm -hmm. you know what i mean uh, for, for nail techs though <laughs> they're, they're not it's getting not happen. <laughs> no no because you're 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 calculating your you're paying in every single year blue lightning and thunder great name by the way i brought i bought all the mystery box but i haven't used it yet i'm a complete beginner i would like to do a set that i don't have to practice on a training hand first any ideas we'll do them on yourself yeah, right absolutely right and we got some great videos i think that karen did on unboxing and doing some nails so follow those and do what she does yeah check out the mystery box um i think she did some 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 nails of mystery box items right yes yeah that so the challenge. the challenge there you go that's right you just uh, are yes do that watch i mean we have so many videos just you can you can spend hours on youtube and for ideas and practicing but i still think like i mean practice hands not ideal but like still you can practice it's practice right. you know that's why it's called a practice hand i think you should still get one not not i mean there's some there's some crappy ones out there and yes i'm gonna say that ours is i like ours it's a good solid we use it for videos we use it for training we use it owc yeah. right yep and it works it works it gets it gets the job done it gets the job done and um, i always say that if you can do nails that look good on that trainer hand you can do any nails because once you have a real hand it's so much easier that's that to me is what that's what you want yeah you know what i mean that's what you yeah. want uh tracy how high are your extensions oh. so cal mandy wants to know how high so how high a layer here layer here and a layer here i don't understand what that means but there you go <laughs> Should I get extensions? Yes. <laughs> but just the back? I think Greg should, and we should hot glue yeah, him on. <laughs> yeah, hot glue him on Greg, yeah. Uh, you guys are the only brand to talk about this stuff. It's so helpful. Uh, thank you, Cal. Is it Kelly Jaworski? Um, <clears throat> yes, we like to talk everything nail business. So, and we're going to continue to do this. So, any questions you have? you know, in just nails, nail business, please ask. We're, we're happy to help. Are they sew-ins, Trace? Yes, yeah, they're Wefts. They're sew-ins. What are they? Wefts. Wefts? Sew-ins. That's a, that's a brand? No. Oh. Style. Oh, it's a style. Yeah. Got it. They're Wefts. I learned something new today. Sew-ins. Wefts. <laughs> I provide wine with my deluxe petty services. It's a really nice touch. I don't like to do it with hand services, though. I want the client's hands ready, of course, and not busy with anything other than holding mind. Just get a straw. Oh, you like a cup holder? I gave him one. You they know, could only have two glasses though. I'm gonna invent a, ro a robotic arm and where like while you're doing hand service, it goes like and then it like serves the wine and they can drink it. Like I'll be rich if I invent that. Who wants in? You want in? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna opt out on this one. Who wants in? 
Thank or you hey, you want in? <laughs> no, I'm good. Um, scroll down, please. Oh, could I mix in a little slick pour with my clear gel for a custom color and add glitter? Yep. There you Absolutely. go. Absolutely. Just watch your ratio. Uh, go light on the slick pour because when you use an acrylic, it can overtake the gel really quick. So just do a little bit at a time. Scroll down, please. Scroll down. Is a 180 grit file okay to use for prep or does it have to be 150? 180 is fine. It's, it's a good grit. I just prefer 150s. I like, I always say I like the ride of it. It just, I like the feel of zero yeah. files and I like the feel of 150s, but everybody has a preference. Um, but you wouldn't go any finer than no. that, mm -mm. like a 240. No, because our 180 has still got a pretty good grit to yeah. it. So it's a medium. Uh, in Washington, I can't charge for service. I can charge for products. I wasn't sure how to figure out cost of product. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, Same. Yeah, I'm not sure Same. I understand, though. Yeah. Like, you're, you're, how you much can't. You, you could break it down in three months. That would. But what do you mean you're charged for products? Like so for, are you, for practicing, they can, she, they're saying that they can charge, say, hey, Habib, I can't charge you for the service, but the products came to. $10. Oh, 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 I see. I see, I see. The products that I used. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. That's very, and you can, you can actually do that. That's very interesting. Um, that's interesting. I didn't know you can do that. I guess in Washington you can. Well, if you can do that, then, then. But it's the same process, right? It's the same process, same yeah. thing. Like you just fig you figure out that what, what it costs you and then you just upcharge and basically now, put a markup on it. You know? Let me ask you this though, because as nail techs, we go a little cray cray sometimes. Yep. And it's like if you spent $3,000 that month on getting all kinds of glitters and stuff and you never used it. <laughs> well, how many services did you do? Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah. That means your cost per service just went up. Yeah. Right. Cause a lot of people were like, well, I didn't use it. It still goes into the calculation because yeah. you bought nail products, right? It, that's why you, you want to do it over like a three, six month, ideally over a 12 month period. The more time you have, the more accurate you're going to get. Because if you have one month where you bought all this nail art stuff. And then back off the following And then back month. off the following month. Like, okay. Which so, is common. Which is very common, totally. It's like, okay, that month. Uh, your, your cost per service is a little higher, but then over a 12 month, you know, it's not going to fluctuate so much. Right. You know what I mean? And, and that's why the long, the more time that goes, you know, ideally, you know, ideally you compare year over year. It's like, okay, in 2020, uh, my cost per service was this in 2021. Whoa, it went up. Why? And then you can go back and look and say, oh, I see. Because in, in, in December I went cray -cray. or in November, I went cray. I bought a lot more products. But then what does that mean? It means I'm not going to spend any money for like the next six months on glitter. So then maybe your cost per uh, service is going to come down. Whole six months? Maybe not. I'm just making stuff up. Glitter? That's impossible. That is impossible. It is impossible. <laughs> Uh, Dottie Kirkland, more MJ videos, please. Absolutely. Yeah, we're I trying to figure to, out where to get, get her in. Can you guys talk about what you would do for retirement in terms of not having uh, it it's come out of our, our paychecks? paychecks? I'm not I'm not sure I understand. Uh, retirement fund or something like that? But it's kind of like what you're talking about investing each month. Uh, oh, I see. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I understand. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, in terms of like what you want to retire. So whatever you're making on a monthly basis. So like, this is what it takes a lot of discipline. Like every single month you have to say to yourself, I'm going to take 500 bucks or whatever it is, depending on how much you make, you know, I'm going to take 10% of my income and I'm going to invest it in, in a retirement fund. And so this is where, you know, talking to an accountant or an investment professional is good because there are certain like investment vehicles that you can uh, participate in where it's tax deductible. So you take your income, let's say you're making five grand a month and you're like, I'm going to take 10% of my income. Okay. So you're going to take $500 and you're going to invest them in, and you're going to invest it in it's this, whatever IRA or Roth. IRA, I don't know. I don't know which one it is, but one of them is like tax deductible, I think so that you're only taxed on $4,500. Yeah. Is it Roth? Okay. okay. So, um, this is not investment advice, by the way. <laughs> not we are not financial advisors. Not financial advisors. Go talk to a financial advisor. But that's an example of like every month it'll it can they can have it so it auto deducts from your bank account 
goes into like a Roth IRA, let's say for example, and then you're only taxed on like 4,500, you know, or um, the, as it, as it keeps building, it's, there's so many ways you can do tax advantages. You got to talk to a financial advisor. Way though. better than my plan. And me, I don't know this level of. I going to divorce Stan and try to become a trophy wife for retirement. <laughs> How's that going? It's not going well. <laughs> uh, I used pixie crystals on my nails. How do you apply them so they don't attach to everything? I don't know what that. Do you know what pixie crystals are? Mm -hmm. They're like really, really, really fine crystals. Okay. Mm -mm. They attach to everything. So it, it should only attach to what you put the adhesive or the gel on. Uh, so you just want to make sure that whatever you're laying it into, it's only in the spots that you want it to go. I, if that's, I think that's what you're saying. Let me know. I think, yeah, just, just be, you have to be very careful with the product that you're using to apply it. I've had the fiber gel on my nails for two weeks now. It's fabulous. How do I fill it from uh jackety Jack? <laughs> jackety Jack. <laughs> Don't come back. Um, Just like you, Doom, doom, doom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You feel good about that one? I feel really good okay. about that one. Okay. Um, just like any other product, you're just going to prep the back, cleanse it, protein bond, put a little gel in there, and call it a day. Um, I have a question someone asked on Discord from Purplephilia. How should we store gel brushes that don't have a cap? We're gonna, Shay, she's going to show you right now. Because I never catch mine. Let's see. I use the Semptation Slick Pour when I did my nails, and I love it from Evelyn Ramirez. Thank you, Evelyn. That's awesome. I'm glad you love it. Would love to see your nails. Take a picture. Please post them on Discord. If you're not part of our Discord community, can we post the Discord on YouTube and um, the invite on YouTube and Twitch? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That would be awesome. Yeah, boss. Yeah, boss. Let's see, yeah. Um, Nails by Raquel. I miss Tracy's How Much videos. Those were good videos, man. How much? <laughs> Remember those intros? How nail much? Oh, my God. Is it nail school that you, if you said it wrong, I'm like, no, no, uh, I'll do it again. No, it was nail school, but then it, it did translate to how much. I would do the intro and you're, I was like, oh, I don't know. You're like, yeah, I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't wasn't convincing. Could I be. didn't hear the music in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. That was, that was, so yeah. If you have a gel brush, okay. Typically, uh, if I have gel. Can we show it on the little camera? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oops. Jesus. Okay, so me, throw me those nails while you're at it. I'll look at these while you're doing that. Cause I'm gonna see these. Holy mackerel. Okay, there we are. So if I have gel in my brush and I'm doing gels, do 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 do. Is that what you do? You... Do 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 do. do. <laughs> oh God. Um, I hope you never do gel in front of me. <laughs> I take the cap. I wipe it off. If it's just regular pink, clear, whatever, I take a lint free. I roll it to a point, and I put it away. And I can literally put it in my container. Right, I can put it in here. I uh, I can put it in a drawer. Now, if let's say we're doing glitter or something like that, right? And mm. I have gel on here. Um, a tile works really great. This one right there. It's right there. Under my phone. Under your phone. Thank you. Um, or any color. So, what, what, just just to be clear, if you're using gel or color or art and it's in your brush, yeah. this is how you get it off. Yeah, you can okay. just wipe your brush on the tile, right? Sometimes you can run it through a pile of clear. That helps pull things out. But let's say you just can't get everything out. Okay. This is when I'd actually pull swipe. I don't do this often. I don't like to do this to my brushes. Grab it. Cleanse it off, right? Get all the glitter, Yuckies. color, whatever it is out, right? I have some black in here, so we're just going to get it out. I'm going to run it through the clear, pull it through again. Now, here's the key. I don't leave it like this. I will take my lid where I've put gel mm. several times. I run it back through. Clear gel, though, right? Clear, clear clean clear, gel. Clean gel. I get some more gel on my brush. I take a clean, dry wipe. Wipe. Or you can use your tile, just roll it to a point, and now put it away. There you go. I keep gel in my gel brush. Yeah. And 
You it, keep it, them it, a long it, time it, that way. It almost seems counterintuitive. Like you're going to keep gelling your gel brush. Shouldn't I clean it with, you know, every single time with I'll alcohol? Strip what, it. You, you, exactly. Like if you do that every single time with alcohol or acetone, it's going to strip the brush. Mm -hmm. It's going to be poofy, right? Poofy. Like, it looks like my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tracy's extensions look amazing on her. Love from Gel Nail Chick. Thank you. I miss watching Tracy do nails. Yeah, don't worry. We're going to get some, um, what are the ones I want to do? The real time videos. I want to get those going. Kill Tracy. Huh? He's trying to kill Tracy. Yes, I'm trying to kill Tracy. Need some more of those videos. Needs me need much more videos of Tracy. I agree with you. Don't worry. That's going to happen. Tracy. You're the boss. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I would say you sign my check, but you don't because it's direct deposit. But well, let's just say it's in spirit. It's in spirit. It's, it's in spirit. It's being approved by me. It approved. Yes. Uh, so, Cal Manny, did they dye them first, or oh, or with sewn in your your extensions? My hair was dyed first, and then the extensions were put in. So she tried to get a color of extension to match my hair color, which it's a little blonder. I don't know. We might dye it next time. Uh, but uh, yeah, so hair colored first, extensions put in second. Scroll down, please. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Da, 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 da. I have question about sculpting. When placing down that first bead to build the tip of the nail, I always have a hard time getting and working with a bead that's large enough mm -hmm. to build that tip from the natural free edge to the tip of the desired length. It's funny as I understand all this. Mm -hmm. If I were to place a smaller bead down closer to where the length is to be and keep adding more products but placing them a little higher each time, until I get to the natural nail, would that be okay? Would that cause any issues? So you want to get like multiple beads versus just one bead right. to build that extension? It would not cause any issues except it's costing you time and yeah. frustration on top of it. So we, what we have to do is we have to practice our product consistency, consistency. picking up product, consistent pearls. It's all about consistency. Habib. Inside. Uh, and, uh, and learning how to pick up a large pearl. We have some great videos Greg has done yes. on this. Yes. And it's so, so helpful. When I finally figured out how to get a consistent large pearl, medium pearl, small pearl. Yeah. It was it was game changer. And what, what happens is, especially if we're first starting out, we're a little afraid of that really large pearl. Right. Babe. Right. Um, so we go smaller. But watch those videos, and I want you to practice over and over. The first day of OWC, which is our week-long course, people get frustrated because it's all about picking up product over, wiping it off. People are like, it's such a waste of product. It's not a waste of product because you're learning something very exactly. important. Exactly. There's no way around it. If you're going to practice, you have to use the product. You can't just magically, you know, unless you're me. Outside of that. that. And uh, CS Nails... <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, my question is so long. CS Nails, no, actually, it was very descriptive Thorough. and right on the point, like um, understood every part of it. Vanessa Bartello Divan, can you get generic caps or something for our gel brushes that we can order through the website? We don't. We used to have. We used them, to have them, but and we they don't. just didn't sell. In yeah, fact, I ended up. I think we ended up like throwing giving them, them away. In. We threw them in last year's mystery box. Oh, that's right, we did. Some people got As a them. bonus. Yeah, just random. It wasn't a value. And then we had people calling and complaining. <laughs> they wanted them. <laughs> no, they they were upset that we threw them in the box. Oh. What is this? I don't want this. This isn't what I... I'm I like, want, no, I don't want extra stuff. Cab. Use it for impressions. <laughs> I don't know. Um, pixie crystals are, after they are on the nail, getting caught in the hair oh. sweaters. Maybe do a top coat after. So what happens if you top coat like sugar nails, pix uh, crystals, 3D nail art, you lose your definition, you lose your shine. Yeah. So it's just, this is why I hate 3D art. I won't wear it because it grabs hair, right, snags right. my sweaters. It drives me nuts. Sugaring I can do. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to do that for me. Uh, but crystals, rhinestones, all that, I, I just can't do it because of those very reasons. Uh, how do I clean gel out of my brush? I think Tracy just, just, just showed you. So I think these are coming up. How do I, yeah. How much does your virtual nail track or class? class I think you're talking about the class, Cindy Terry. Um, how much are they? 
Do, do you do you know Maury? Are they seventy five? Seventy five. Is it seventy five bucks? I think it's seventy five dollars. It's three hours with um with Greg. And if you have any questions, email Ray at youngnails.com. Can you at Cindy Terry um Jorge and and throw that uh Ray at youngnails.com? Thank you. Um Wait, you just simply wipe and go, Dragonfly? I think she's talking about the cleaning of the gel brush. <laughs> oh, I thought we were talking about something else. Back to Kaka, <laughs> CT five K. <laughs> yeah, you usually just wipe and go. You want to wipe thoroughly, God, though. We're children. Five, we're freaking five, five years old here. I, I talked to my God. parents last night, by the way. You and, talked to your parents? Yes. Okay. And I realized where I got it from. I told him, you guys are literally five year olds. <laughs> That's awesome. Wait, wait, scroll up. What are you doing? Um, but yes, so okay. <laughs> just what I did on the with the gel brush is exactly how I keep my brushes. I leave gel. Wait, my chat just disappeared. Are we froze? I don't think so. Um, I leave gel in my brushes, though. I avoid brushes that don't have caps, though. If you store in a container like that, can thingy make sure you keep it out of the sun oh yeah, yeah definitely gotta yeah, keep yeah. it out of you the light can. yeah but i will say that i had a desk next to a window and so here's the window stopped here and then my desk my drawer can't speak talk. uh cabinet <laughs> and a lot of times i left it there as long as the light wasn't directly hitting it, it was fine Okay, scroll down, please. Scroll down. Let's see. I got all three mystery boxes. Adriana Ramirez loved it all so much. I used the precision gel applicator to do my nails and loved it super easy. Can I refill over it with acrylic or do I need to remove gel completely? So gel fills into acrylic very well. The flip side Mm, it's not so much. Um, I like to thin out if I'm going, if I'm going to fill with acrylic over a gel nail, I thin it. I don't take it all off, but I will thin it down pretty good and then go into my acrylic. Uh, my gel brushes sit on my desk. So I had to make, can you scroll down make my own black caps? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's being creative. I think I, that's I great. <clears throat> it's probably because my vision's so bad. I don't have that like like you're like trying to carefully get in oh my the cap God. without like fraying it and hitting it. So I'll, I give up. Uh, go ahead and scroll down, please. Keep going. I'll post pics in Discord of the caps I made. Post them. Put them in Discord, please. That would be awesome. Uh, what is the type of nail do you use for acrylics? I'm not sure I understand. Um, I'm not sure I understand. Cindy Terry, can you explain, please? What clear was that? What clear was that base or build? Oh, yeah, that was just base. That was just it, base. Just any clear. Any clear. Flex, build. Yeah. I mean, it's, I'm, if I have pink out, I'll, I'll use pink as long as I keep gel in it. I'm, I'm cool. Um, can I just talk about these glitters real quick? No. Okay. Can I talk about them now? Yeah. Okay. You like them? No, I don't want to talk about them. Okay. <laughs> How about now? Okay, now I, I okay. feel like talking about them. Um, guys, like... Uh, I know what we were, I was looking at them on the screen yesterday too, right? And um, let me just show you these real quick. Um, that actually looks pretty good. You can really get you the, do that better than I do. I don't know why I can't get that. Um, that looks pretty good, right? You yeah. really kind of get the action of these. It's a little shinier and prettier. In it is. It is. But these are insane. And you guys, I mean, dude. These are ridiculous. Um, and I love that they all have kind of that similar, like, sparkle, story. right? They tell a story. They totally tell a story. So are we going with the Valentine's chocolate box collection thingy? Yeah? You guys like that? Pick them, eat them. Um, these are ridiculous, and they're spectacular. You cannot, you will not go wrong with these glitters, um, especially since... This is the sugaring, but obviously you can mix them in uh, gel, acrylic, whatever you want to do with them. Th these things are insane, guys. You told me to keep. Where is it? You uh, told me to keep the garbage pile. Oh yeah, keep the garbage pile. Did you? Yeah. Because I think we want to give it away, guys. I think it was a good idea. Nicole Gregory, is the fiber gel supposed to be super thick? Yes, it is. It is a thicker consistency gel. Let's look. Oh my God. Let me see that. Whoa. So there's like a, what is that? Like a half? Mm -hmm. It's like halfway full. Do we want to give that away to somebody? 
Does somebody want it? Does somebody you guys you guys you want, want the pack? we can pick somebody from um from the chat and just give it away. So we'll have uh, maybe wait, Kira. Oh, maybe <laughs> I pulled up the beam. Totally. Um, we'll have Kira pick somebody and we'll get this out. Um, I figure we'll do something. We'll let, let us figure it out. We'll do something. We'll do like a fair giveaway where she can just randomly pick somebody from, from YouTube you or. You oh yeah. You guys want to see it? Let's show. Let's see. Oh my God. Garbage piles are the most. That's intense, man. Right? That's mm -hmm. super intense. Jesus. Lord have mercy on this glitter. It is shiny and sparkly. Oh my God. Can't handle it. <laughs> Got a little carried away there. Sorry, guys. Nobody wants it now. <laughs> We're going to give that away, so uh, stay tuned. Um, this is why I love the location of my studio. It's in a basement of a 150-year-old building, no windows. No, wait, you just scroll. I was just reading, bro. Was you were done. You were done. <laughs> that was an accident. I'm like reading. He's all. What, am I, what do you think I'm reading off of? Like, <laughs> I'm just wondering. You're just making things up. <laughs> like some random, like, where I'm is like, he? Where is I'm like that? This. No, no. It's like Jorge looks at me, and he thinks I'm like this. I'm working in the basement of a 150 year old building, and like I'm just coming out of this. I'm reading it, bro. My fingers slip. <laughs> My fingers slip. That's what they all say. <laughs> I love that. No risk of goofing up my gel brushes. That's awesome. Kelly nailed it. And I want to see that building, 150 cool. year old. Damn, son. Um, wait. So what is good? Gel on top of acrylic or acrylic on top of gel? Anyone can answer. Gel on top of acrylic. Works is, really well. Works really well. Acrylic on top of gel can be tricky. little tricksters. It's a little tricky. Tricksters. I can't use any gel polish. Why not? Texas Girl 64. Monomer, not even polish. Oh, Everyone. allergies? Allergies oh. probably. Sorry about that. that um, scroll down, Jorge, please. I th what products will work for me? I don't know. Um, if you're, It sounds like you're allergic to everything. And so that's something you would need to talk to your like health professional mm -hmm. and you got to get, you got to figure out and see. And it's important. Like, yeah. Very once important. Once you talk to, if, if they're like, yeah, go ahead and try it. Do a patch test. Don't. Yeah. Stick don't it just, on all don't fingers. just go. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It looks like Valentine's stuff. I know this is, this is, this is going to be. What, what was it called? The chocolate? What did you uh, say? Chocolate. What did you guys say it was? The chocolate box? <laughs> Valentine's chocolate Valentine's box? chocolate. The caca line. <laughs> <laughs> Pink. So gosh darn beautiful. They're gorgeous, guys. Oh my God. They're insane. Uh, Jenny Mac, I love those. Yeah. Can we scroll down, please, Jorge? Can we talk about why I'm taking my marketing of the glitters? You owe me glitters. The marketing of the glitters? What do you mean? I think she pitched the idea of the chocolate of Valentine's. Valentine's. Oh, oh, it's it's a good idea. It's it, a very good idea. Yeah. We, I think it's I, like I think it. it's fun. And it sounds delicious. What's the name of the little piece that holds the nail tips for display? I need oh, these are um There's you can get displays. these. You can get these on Amazon, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nail displays. Nail displays. Um, dealing with carpal tunnel while doing nails. It's Rashada. Uh, uh it's Rashonda. Uh Tracy dealt with that. Yeah. Also, and you moved to an electric file, correct? Yeah, it actually it saved my career. Yeah. It did, and then I had braces that I wore at night, and just try to really start paying attention on how you ha uh, hold hands. Uh, overhand grip when using the electric file is huge because you can hold your wrist straight. You're going to have to start retraining you yourself because you have probably some bad habits on how you hold yourself. Um, and I know there's a lot of information online about it, but the yeah. the electric file, huge. Um, scroll down, please. Scroll down. Keep going. Where there's there we go. He scrolls. You won't scroll when you want him to scroll. <laughs> Where he's like, can't do oh anything right. <laughs> Desert Explorer. Tracy's hair looks fire. Thank you. A lot of lot of Tracy hair compliments today. That's when. Um, that's when that that's when I know like there's been a like you 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 did you, you did something. I, I, I didn't do anything. <laughs> you obviously you did. Um put it up. Let's keep going. I'll do I want I deserve the coverage pile since y'all stole my <laughs> 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 so kill Mandy. Should we do a pick a, pick a number? Pick a number. Um Ooh. 
we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, and there'll be guys. Don't worry. We're gonna do like we're gonna do this on the regular. I think maybe on a weekly basis. We were talking in our marketing meeting, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So we're gonna be doing stuff like this on a weekly basis. There will always be a garbage pile. Do not worry. There's gonna be tons of opportunity. Um, we're gonna have fun with this. Okay. Uh, thanks. I love it. Just wanted to know. I'm here in Michigan where it's super cold now. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. 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 Um, honestly, I think any of us would. Yeah, totally. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'm going to talk to the team. Roth IRS tax deductible to a certain amount. Okay, there you go. Lorena Romero, thank you for that. So, uh, but definitely talk to your, your financial advisor or your accountant or whoever you talk to, to figure out, um, what can work for you in terms of investing. Um, guys, all right. It is 9.43 and I actually have to get on a call in 15 minutes, I think. I have a meeting. Plus, we got to shoot some videos, right, Jorge? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was reading the comments on the phone. <laughs> yes. I'm slow today. Uh, he just needs to go home and start over. <laughs> um, how about this? Anyone who wants it can message Wine on Instagram, and I'll put the handles into a randomizer. Oh, there you yeah. go. She has a Thank great you. app for it. Oh, Kira, you're there. awesome. So do that, guys. Um, DM us on Instagram and then DM. sure. Hashtag garbage pile. <laughs> yeah, hashtag garbage pile. And then we'll put your names in the little, blah, 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 and then it'll, and then boop, pick winner. Okay. And then we'll send it to you, whoever gets it. That's it may just be a DIYer, cool. but I love this glitter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Fire nails by Jules. Doesn't matter. If you're passionate Everybody about nails, can appreciate glitter. 100%. So don't worry about it. Um, I got here just in time to see the glitters. Yay. Nice. Thank you, Wicked. Wicked Mage 430. Um, all right, guys. We'll be back tomorrow around the same time, between 8.30 and 9-ish, somewhere around there. And uh, remember, DM us on Instagram, and we'll give out that garbage pile. We're going to do more. Also, want to say thank you, Ahmed Sick. Ahmed Sag 90 for the 69 bits. Wow. What's up? Did we say what up to Miss Ned? She's subbing, subbing at one month. I don't think we did. Oh, we may, I think we did. Think we did. did. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the thank you for the bits. Very much appreciate your support on this stream. And thank you to everybody for hanging out with us today. Have an awesome Wednesday, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for watching these highlights from our Twitch stream to talk to us live on Twitch. Join us Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday mornings. Come hang with us. We love engaging with you and talking with you in the chat. It's at Young Nails Inc. on Twitch.